What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Mike the Tech and today we're going to be upgrading my Steam Deck uh, from the 500 gigabyte version to a nice brand new 2 terabyte M.2 drive from Team Group. So we're going to go ahead and use the Xcool uh, tool set here. It's a mini precision screwdriver with a ton of drill bits. And this will let us get into basically anything we need to get into. I'm also going to use the assistance from my Olna M.2 copier, which not only works as a drive that you can actually read from, so you can connect the M.2 drive in here and use it like a USB drive, but you can completely clone one drive to another simply using this button here, and you'll be able to see when it's completed. So we're gonna be able to copy all of our data without having to reinstall anything. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is take out your SD card. This is an often overlooked step, but it's extremely important to take out the SD card because you will not believe how many uh, images I've seen of these SD cards being broken if you try and just open a Steam Deck without doing so. Now we're going to find an appropriate drill bit for this and we're going to unscrew here and let's get started. We're just going to go ahead and attempt to get each screw out, hopefully without stripping them. Make sure to use some pressure when you're unscrewing these. If I don't add enough pressure, you'll notice that it sort of um, clicks a few times because it's very, very tightly wound. Uh, Steam even says that the Steam Deck won't be exactly the same if you open it up the first time. So we're just going to go ahead and continue and take the rest of these screws out. And we're almost done here. Let me just use the little light on here to make sure that we got all of the screws out and it looks like we did. All right, so now we need to get into the Steam Deck itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, guitar pick here and that's gonna let me kind of start the prying process here. You'll see it start coming off and there we go. Easy as pie. All right, so now we need to take off this heat shield. So let's go ahead and peel this back just like that. And then let's open the, let's take this screw out we'll place that aside and you may need a smaller drill bit for some of these screws that got it we have one more screw at the bottom here and now we can just gently pull this off here and now we can see our solid state drive we're just going to pull the power cable out here so let's go ahead and remove that we're going to hit this screw right here and it'll pop right up and we can go ahead and pull that out now this heat shield does come off so we can simply pull it off of the old one and put it onto the new one. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna open up the new drive. We're gonna pull the heat sink off of this one and nice and snugly fit it onto the other. Perfect. Now for the copying process. We're gonna be using the Olna drive here, the drive cloner. So we're gonna go ahead and put the old drive, which is our source, into this first socket, just like that. And then we're gonna get our second drive, which is the target, and plug it in as well, just like that. Now we can turn it on in the back, and you'll see that there's a blue light on. Now, to start the clone, we're going to hold the clone button for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. And the drives are cloning. You can see the activity on each one, as well as the percentage of how much is done. Now we just wait, and then we install the new one. All right, so the process has completed. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and pull the new drive, the two terabyte, which is nice and warm and place this into the Steam Deck. Just push it in and then push it down. And we're gonna use that screw to just screw that right back in. All right, that looks like it's screwed in pretty good. Now we can go ahead and plug this back in. There we go. We can add the heat shield back on, making sure that those are in the same spots and start screwing that back in. Now we'll remember that the very, very small screws are the ones that go on the inside here. And the final screw there. And that's nice and snug. Now let's go ahead and take the top here and snap it back on. And we're good to go. Let's go ahead and turn it on, make sure that it works uh, before we go ahead and um, screw anything in. And after plugging in the power source, it does seem to be turning on. Very nice. 
and it already has SteamOS, which is also nice because we cloned everything ahead of time. And there are all my games without any reinstalling or anything. Everything I had is on this drive now. Let's go into the settings. Let's take a look at the storage here. And you can see that we have 1.8 terabytes of space on the screen. Perfect. And that's it for this one. All you have to do is put the screws back in uh, the Steam Deck and you're good to go. Remember that the smaller screws are in the four center holes and the longer screws are on the outside. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. Peace. And kudos, we rock that pseudo Administrative elevator command We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh Mike the Tech, the architect, huh Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect